Hi, my name is Michael Bianconi from Southern Fire Guitars, and this channel is all about guitars. Cigar box guitars. Building them, playing them, playing them, and building them. And this video is going to be a beginner's 12-bar blues lesson without using a pick. We're going to be using our fingers today. Welcome to the backwoods. lesson you're going to need a three string cigar box guitar tuned to an open G. Bottom string is G, middle string is D, and the top string is an octave above the low string as a high G. Now what is the 12 bar blues? Well it's a very popular blues pattern that consists of 12 measures or 12 sections of the song. Each section contains four beats. Let me explain. Now the way you would count the 12 bar blues is like this. If you were starting out, it would be one, two, three, four, two, two, So there you have your 12 measures with 4 beats per measure. Well I'm going to bring the camera a little closer in so you can see what I'm doing with my left hand and my right hand. Now like I said earlier we're not going to be using a pick in this video lesson we're going to just be using our fingers and what I'm going to do with my fingers is this I'm going to put my thumb like this on the bottom string my index finger will be on the middle string and my middle finger will be on the top string and what I'm going to do I'm not going to strum it like this I'm just going to pluck it like this you're like pinching all three of them and then just pull it off Playing all three strings at the same time with just this little pinch motion. And a lot of times I will take my pinky and just anchor it to the box to keep my hand in the same spot like that. Now this 12 bar blues starts out by hitting all three strings open. Then you're taking your index finger and you're putting it on the second string, second fret. Now your right hand is just 
doing the same thing every time. It's plucking all three strings every time you're hitting a note. And we're going to do this really slow for the first few times around so you can kind of get the hang of it. So it starts out one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Then it's going to go up to this fifth fret. And what you're going to do here is you're going to take your index finger and you're going to bar all three strings. And you're, going to, you're going to use the same pattern over here with your right hand, plucking all three strings. And what you can do also is if you take your ring finger and go over two frets, on the middle string, you can do this. And you're going to do this for two measures. Then you're going to go back down there to the open position. For two measures. Then you're going to come up to the 7th fret and you're going to bar all strings on this note here. And again you can use your ring finger two frets over from where you have it barred and do this. You will do this two times, then you will move down with your bar chord to the 5th fret, then back down to your open position, then back to the 7th position for, for 4 beats. Sounds a little confusing, but let me do the whole thing together and then you will be able to put it into context. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven. Guess what happens? You guessed it. Starts right back on the one. Once you get comfortable with doing that rhythm, very simple rhythm, then you could throw little added little riffs in as you go along. For instance, the first part when you go like this, you can also use your middle finger and hit the third fret so it'll sound like this. Here, these fingers are doing the same thing through the whole song. Just pinching all three strings together. Now you're going to go to the fifth fret and you're going to do the same thing here and take.
take your pinky and go over four frets over. And back down to the open position. Seventh fret. Fifth fret. Open position. you do this a few times around and get real com comfortable with it you can start adding little licks and little tricks and fancy things to it as you go along and it uh, becomes really fun you could do this little bass part like this part was just from the second fret on the low string right up to the fifth fret where you're going to you to do your change part so that will go like this this lesson was helpful to get you started on the 12 bar blues if so let me know down there in the comments well if you like cigar box guitar building and playing videos and you're not a subscriber what are you waiting for click that little button down there in the bottom and become a subscriber and don't forget to ring the bell and they'll notify you every time I post a new one supporting this channel is easy just give it a thumbs up and do leave a comment from the backwoods, my name's Michael, and I'll see you in the next one.